right guys and welcome back to another video now i am so excited to film this video i feel like this is probably my most requested video it's also one that i've never filmed anything like before and i'm so excited to talk about this topic and it is going to be a video about all things orientation when you get to camp now like i say i've had so many people message me asking me things about orientation how orientation will be obviously it will be very different camp to camp and I can only base this on the orientation that I've experienced having at Tyler Hill. And every camp will have slightly different orientations. They won't obviously all be run the same as this, but you can kind of get a good idea on how mine's run and how yours could be a little bit similar maybe. So take it with a pinch of salt and it's just interesting to know. It's interesting to hear about how my orientation was and I'm very excited to talk through all the things I'm going to talk about. Now, I did actually already film this video. I went to the park on my break yesterday at work and had such a pretty location. I started filming and the video looked so cool. Like the backdrop was really aesthetic. It looked beautiful, but my camera died and then it was really windy. And then when I watched back the audio, like it was really loud and you could barely hear me talking anyway. So you know what? Let's refilm this very nice neutral white background which is always my favorite place to film anyway and you're gonna be able to hear me a little bit better but yes orientation now what i've actually done which is what i'm so excited to talk about is Haley, one of the head staff at my camp actually sent me over the orientation schedule from the summer just gone because i was thinking back and i was trying to write down everything we did in orientation and i remember a little bits of it but i definitely couldn't remember the timings or some activities I've just completely forgotten about and she sent me the whole schedule so I'm going to talk through the entire schedule for orientation and give you kind of like the timings, what times we were waking up, what times we were doing certain things and just tell you everything we did during orientation. Yeah so like I say I've had tons of questions like so many people have asked me orientation specific things and because I think it's something that you don't really understand until you go you don't really know what the program or the schedule is going to be like until you get there so it's quite interesting to know how like i say you might find it interesting how tyler hill's orientation is run and just so you have a little bit of an idea on how yours could be run as well so yeah i've just got the schedule on my phone i'm going to talk through everything we did every single day the timings we did and what each activity kind of involved and then i've got some questions that i literally just put a post up on my instagram if anyone had any questions about orientation and they sent me some over so i'll like, talk through the schedule then i'll go through all the questions and then hopefully it's given you a bit of an idea on orientation so yeah thank you for watching guys and i hope you enjoy okay so orientation actually lasted the longest it has ever lasted i think this year it was about eight or nine days and normally it's about five or six days and i loved the fact that orientation was a little bit longer i loved that we got longer to get to know each other and it just gave us a lot of time before the kids got there to kind of prepare ourselves so wake up during orientation was around 8 15 and we had an 8 30 breakfast and then 12 45 lunch 5.15 was about shower hour and then kind of like time for us to hang out. Then we had a 6.30 dinner and then 9 to like half 10 we could go to the canteen. So those were like the set timings of everything during the day. And then obviously we had different activities every day. So we actually had three days where staff could arrive between, so it was the 13th, the 14th and the 15th of June. So like staff could arrive on any of those days. And like I mentioned in one of my other videos before, like Tyler Hill actually ran buses from Newark Airport. So you could book onto a bus on those three days and kind of just get to camp. So we had to be at camp by the 16th of June which was the date the orientation started so I think I got there on like the 10th or the 9th so I was actually there a lot earlier than I kind of needed to be but it was nice because I got to go and then there wasn't there was actually nobody at camp it was really nice had time to settle in and then everyone started to arrive and I was part of the welcome committee so it was quite nice that I was there and I could welcome all the new staff coming in so on those three days it was very chill like some people had extra training like if you're on the waterfront team or the outdoor adventure team you kind of had that training to do over those three days I didn't really have much to do apart from little jobs here and there sorting some stuff out but other than that, I didn't have anything to do until the Thursday, which is, like I say, when orientation actually started. So at 9.30, like, bear in mind, we've obviously had, like, wake up, breakfast, everything in between. So at 9.30, we actually had Welcome to Tyler Hill in the social hall, which was just kind of like a big full camp event where we just gathered in the social hall. All of head staff introduced themselves so we know who they were. It was just kind of like an introduction, getting to know them, getting to know a little bit about camp, kind of like the history, how long everyone had been there, and just have a little bit of a get to know. And then we went into some icebreakers, which icebreakers are normally just, like, really fun little, like, get to know your games again exactly how they sound like you just breaking the ice so you normally split off into smaller groups from there and just kind of work through some little activities getting to know the groups you're in obviously some of the people you'll be in you'll never have well most of the people you're in a group with you've never spoken to before obviously if you're a returner or if you knew some people before they try and like split you into groups of people where you like you who you don't know so you're interacting with new people and trying to get to know as many people as possible and then we went on to having like a returning staff and a new staff session so the staff would be split so obviously returning staff their training can be a little bit different and obviously they don't need to know as much about certain things as new staff do like there's a lot of details that obviously new staff need to know returners will already know from years before and then in the afternoon i remember us doing this we had like a tyler hill traditions thing so we gathered in the cave and the cave is like our kind of like 
I'll enter a picture if I have one. I'll definitely have a picture, but whether it's a good enough picture. So we've got the bleachers and we've got like a big basketball court and we're kind of gathering there for big basketball games, like big sporting events really. And yes, we have this traditions thing where some of the head staff just talked through like some traditions, like kind of like things that we did at camp that are just like have been going on for years and years. And that was really interesting. And then our like, even activity, we had the amazing race, which is so much fun. It's kind of like a big scavenger hunt. And again, you're split into little small teams. I think maybe between seven and 10 people in each team, maybe some are a little bit bigger, I really can't remember. And it's really good to do this on the first night that really everyone's like all of the staff are at camp because when you get to camp, Hull is huge, like it's a massive camp. And I remember getting there and I was like, I am never gonna know my way around this place. Like this place is huge. And doing this evening activity is really good because you get given like a list of different hints and clues and you have to try and go to whichever spot you think it's about. And it's good because you just you just run all over camp with your team and you just try to figure out where these little spots are. It gets you to know like where important places are, like the health centre or the dining hall or the social hall or the canteen, like different spots that you need to know like quite soon just help it just helps you learn your way around camp so i'm sure most camps will do an activity like that like a scavenger hunt or something where you just can literally run around and try and figure out where you're going because it can be a bit overwhelming at the start but it is definitely it's definitely doable you do learn your way very quick okay on to the friday so our morning activity we split into like girl side and boy side so we had things like split separately and we would just have like chats with girls head staff and they would introduce themselves we'd find out who was like division leaders group leaders and they'd just give us a little bit of a breakdown on how girls side was ran obviously boys side things some things are a little bit different but a lot of the times things are like very similar but they would just be doing the same thing like getting to know boys side head staff and then over these first couple of days if you're a new staff member or even a returning staff that you're thinking of changing divisions head staff will pull you aside and they will like sit you down and say look like what age group are you thinking of working with and they'll just have these conversations with you because then a few days later you'll obviously get straight into your divisions so they start having those conversations with you pretty much as soon as you get there and it's just really nice obviously you sit down with them they'll talk to you about what age they think you'll be good with so we had the little like girl side time which is really nice to do and then we had like a staff wellness chat which was in the social hall so again this was like a full camp thing and I have a lot of questions asked about this actually. So what's the staff wellness like at Tyler Hill? How do they look after you? And I cannot fault how look after, looked after I always feel when I'm at camp. And you just always feel like there's someone you can go and talk to. Like everyone is very approachable. I always feel like if I've got any problem, whether it's the smallest thing or the biggest thing, I can always go and talk to someone and I feel really at home. And I know I can just talk to them about anything. We actually have one of our head staff. She's a psychologist and she actually had like bookings on a, like she could just email and book into like, just go and chat to her. Like you could go into our office and if you had any issues, not even just an issue, just if you needed to talk to someone about anything and you could sit down with her, you could sit down with anyone really, but she obviously like put time aside, especially for this. And she did this whole program, which was really, really nice. But like I say, I've always felt so looked after. And I know that if I have any issue, I can literally go and talk to anyone. And that's what I love about Tyler Hill and they do want you to find it as easy as possible like if you're struggling or if you're going through anything they want you to be able to go and talk to someone because they want you to be at your happiest at your best so that you're enjoying your time there and that's what I found really really great about it and yeah so yeah we had a little staff wellness talk and then in the afternoon we had a company coming called project game time now these this company the group that comes are literally hilarious they are so so funny and they are kind of just like a group like a company a few people come in and they do like these crazy activities again like a lot of games a lot of like sporty things and then we have like a big dance party with them and the energy that these guys bring is actually insane and it really just showcases the kind of energy that we want at camp and when they come in it is just so much fun so that's a really fun afternoon like i say just a few games again a few like icebreakers they'll do some like get to know you things just it's some of these things like sometimes when you go into these activities you can be like oh my god this is really putting me out of my comfort zone i don't know how i feel about this but seriously just put yourself out there because everyone is feeling the same and you just sometimes you need to forget if you're going to feel a little bit silly and just have fun because it will make it so much easier and so much better for you if you're not stressing about all of that stuff okay then on to the saturday we actually had something which was my favorite activity we had the parent panel and this is where i've spoke about this before this is where like a few parents of kids that come to tyler hill or are coming to tyler hill they will come into camp and they will sit on the stage in the social hall and we'll have like a full-on like parent panel and we'll get to ask them loads of questions they'll kind of tell us what they expect from us as counselors who are looking after their kids for the summer it's just a really interesting activity to be able to talk to the parents because obviously you don't see the parents until visiting day at my camp like visiting day is like halfway through the summer so you don't really get any interaction with the parents until you're already four weeks into the job so having the parent panel is really nice because it does give you an insight on kind of like speaking to a parent and just being able to ask some questions 
And it is very interesting. And then on the Saturday afternoon, we actually announced divisions. So we found out what division we were in. And like I said, you'll have had the conversations with head staff towards the start of orientation, like the few days before, and then find out the divisions. And then you'll do like a lot of divisional time. So you'll kind of split off into divisions. Obviously, like if you're working with the youngest kids, like the freshmen, the freshman girls this summer had like 82 kids in it. And that means that there's a lot more counsellors and obviously the kids are younger so they need a lot more counsellors anyway. Whereas the oldest group on camp, I think they had like 25 kids and only had four counsellors because they don't need as much looking after as obviously the younger ones do. So you'll find your divisional time will be spent with different amounts of people depending on what divisions you're in. Like my division was juniors this year and we had 11 counsellors in our division. And like I say, it just is different depending on what kind of age group you're in. Okay, then on the Sunday we had a few breakout sessions and I remember this being really interesting. So we were given like a sheet with maybe 10 breakout sessions that we could go to and these are all like different things that like some might have been about body positivity or like kids that are really into sports or like different topics of different things you could go and like have a talk about and each head staff ran a different session and this was really interesting again even as a returner like you still feel like you're learning new things each time it's not just for new staff it's definitely still for returners and I remember these breakouts being super helpful and really interesting as well and then we went on to have some more divisional time then we had some sports sessions so this was where we kind of like had we could choose a few sports to go to we could do like basketball baseball i think we had golf tennis maybe a few different like sports we could go to during orientation which was nice to kind of experience those little activities before the kids get there and one thing that i do always say about orientation is that it is kind of like camp for the counselors and it is really nice to have that time before the kids get there to get to know all your staff prepare yourself before the kids do actually get there and enjoy camp for a little bit just kind of like for yourself and then on the sunday night we actually went bowling and this was so much fun so they kind of like rented out a load of bowling alleys we went about an hour away i think i think we went to scranton and rented out some bowling alleys and it was just nice that was the first time we'd actually all obviously got away from camp and it was just nice to have a little evening away do some bowling we played mini golf we could have some food and it was just really chill and again really nice to be out of camp for a little bit and get to know each other outside of a camp setting which was really nice okay then the following monday we kind of had it says here counselor talk and mental health tips and then we had some more divisional time then we had a health and safety meeting in the afternoon which is quite a tough talk to have like it's quite a heavy talk and obviously you have to have this chat like health and safety is super important at camp and we all sit together in the social hall and normally they have an external like person come in and do this talk they also do some talks obviously with head staff as well but it is like it is a heavy talk and you do have to make sure obviously you are really paying attention because it is very important information that they're giving you but yeah so we had our health and safety talk then we kind of had a time off meeting just to explain kind of like what is expected on time off what you kind of like can and can't do more divisional time then we had wacky relays as our evening activity now i can't really remember exactly what this was i know it was obviously relays of some sort but i really can't remember because we do so many evening activities as the summer goes on that some of them just blend into one but whatever it was i'm sure it was amazing and then tuesday tuesday was actually such a good day it was like we had our first day off during orientation this is the first time i think they've ever done this and actually given us a day off before the kids arrive and it was so nice because again it meant that we could carry on getting to know each other in an out of camp setting as well because it is nice to then be able to do things in the outside world with the friends you've just made and so we had a rolling breakfast between like nine and ten so we could have like a lazy morning you could just get up whenever if you wanted to go and grab breakfast if you wanted to just lie in you could do then we had some like electives open so we'd go to the pool we could go to the gym go to arts and crafts all of that stuff and then they actually ran some buses to middletown mall and or you could go to skinners which was really fun so it was about half 12 i think the buses left and i think we ended up going to the mall because i don't think it was a very nice day so was wasn't worth us going to skinners which is kind of like this like lake where we could go and like sit on the rocks and just chill in the sun and stuff so i think we all went to the mall and then in the evening they ran buses to either like the bar or the restaurant or walmart and again it was just nice to have a day off and oh, it was just fun i'm just gonna again okay, i'll insert some photos if i can find any from this day off because it was just mad like obviously we hadn't even been at catalog like, orientation only started four days before our first day off and i already remember like having such a good day with everyone that i'd met because like it's mad that like, you do connect to people so quickly because you're kind of thrown into such an intense environment and you make best friends like straight away like i remember after like a day i'm like yeah you're my best friend like we're sticking together like it's so fun and you do meet people that you know you're just gonna click with and you're gonna get on with the entire summer okay oh i remember why they gave us the day off on tuesday actually because wednesday was actually a day of unpacking so we had like a nice chill down the tuesday and then we were straight into unpacking on wednesday now i love unpacking it's very controversial like some people hate it and think it's really tedious and don't like doing it i absolutely love it so the kids come with two humongous duffel bags like i will get insert a photo here of one of the duffel bags 
they are massive and like i say all the kids come with two of them because they have all their bedding in there all their cushions all their shoes their clothes bunk junk like under the bed stuff like they have so much stuff and we have to spend as long as it takes to unpack all of their things like we have to get the bunks ready for the kids to get there so they don't unpack any of their stuff like we have it all unpacked anyway some camps do this differently so this could be completely different for you but at tyler hill we unpack everything before the kids get there and like i say i love unpacking because it's such a chill day like you're just in the bunk you're with your co-counselors listening to some music just unpacking all the kids bags now i remember my first year i was like whoa this is intense as i've done it like now three times it's a lot more enjoyable because i kind of know how things should go i know like i just you just understand it a little bit more it is it is overwhelming when you go for the first time and you're like oh my god these kids have so much stuff where am i gonna put it all it'd be interesting actually if any of my returners from any camp actually or tyler hill or anywhere in general let me know down below if you like unpacking because it'd be interesting to see who does and who doesn't because like i say i know people that absolutely despise it but i love it so let's see let's see how everyone else feels about it and then we had a trivia night on the evening as our evening activity and then the thursday we kind of did again just some activities in the morning just further like training and stuff and then we did a half day in the life which i can't really remember doing but i think it was just going through an actual half day schedule as in if you're in your division like how your schedule would look and then we did camp cella on the thursday evening i can't remember doing camp cella though i don't know why my memory is so bad when it comes to this or we did it as like a talent show i can't remember but i remember one night we literally all went into the social hall and people could sign up to a talent show and a lot of people did singing or dancing or just like funny acts on stage and it was such a good night i remember us all just sitting there and then anytime anyone got up and started singing a song everyone was up on the benches like singing and dancing along and it was oh just so much fun this gets me so excited for orientation guys you have no idea and then on the friday we kind of had our final full camp sessions some more divisional time and then arts and crafts would open and we all went and made like signs for the kids to get there we'd always make signs whether it was for your bunk or just like just cute signs to hold up as like off the bus it was really sweet and then on the friday we actually had some of the florida campers arrive so the florida campers come a day early opposed to all the other campers because it fell on a friday we actually had starfish so every friday at camp we have something called starfish which is where the whole camp gathers at the camper theater and we sit in over the lake as the sun is setting and it's just a nice way to kind of like round off the week and just sit and kind of like look back on the week we've had and they give out awards like each letter of starfish stands for a different thing that we've got like sportsmanship tolerance appreciation all of that and they all stand for a different thing and each week a campus will win like one of those awards from each division and it is really sweet so we had like a mini starfish that night and then the saturday the kids got there so that was literally orientation in a nutshell i feel like that's no, orientation does go really really fast like you'll blink and you'll be like oh my god the kids are coming this is crazy and yeah the kids arrive i think around 10 or 11 o'clock and, and we're all waiting at camp we're waiting for the buses to roll in and it's such a special day like the day the kids arrive is one of my favorite days ever it is so emotional and so exciting but yeah that's kind of a little brief rundown of how my orientation looked it does probably seem quite overwhelming like oh my god what but in a nutshell it's kind of just a lot of little activities a lot of training you'll have to go through like just sometimes you just have to sit you just have to listen to people talk and telling you some information a lot of fun sports a lot of fun activities like games and stuff as well some of the even activities on here like it just has the name of them and i can't remember what we actually did for them and like before we've done like full camp like dodgeball tournaments and we've been split into teams i feel like we did a little colorful thing i can't remember honestly but orientation is so much fun like i say a lot of games a lot of activities and it is overwhelming don't get me wrong but it is also a good way that they kind of throw you in straight away because if you're feeling a little bit homesick or a little bit worried about things it's good because it takes your mind off things because you're literally like right i'm thrown in we're doing loads of activities we're getting things done so it is super super fun and i cannot wait for orientation it will be one of the best weeks like well it's me it's one of my favorite weeks of camp i actually love it like i say it's camp for the counselors you get to meet all these incredible people get to know everyone prepare yourself before the kids get there and then you're like thrown in obviously into proper camp life and things do change when the kids get there like it is all like it is all very different compared to orientation but yeah one big thing like i already touched on in orientation please just try and put yourself out there because it will make your it'll make you stand out as well if you're literally like volunteering yourself for things or putting yourself out there like doing things first it just like it just puts you out there and it will make your life so much easier you won't feel as stressed out about things and it's nice to just get involved and like i say throw yourself into things head first put yourself out your comfort zone i was the worst person to do this i hated putting myself out my comfort zone my first summer at camp and now i'm literally like it doesn't matter why does it matter and it is a hard mindset to have don't get me wrong but try your best to do that and you will have the best time okay i literally have to leave for work in 10 minutes so i've got some questions to run through i'm just going to really quickly fire through them and give off some information nothing crazy so yeah okay someone's asked what exactly is staff orientation and 
like I've just mentioned, it's just like training really. It's just the week or however long before the kids get there to prepare you for camp and make sure you're not just going in completely blind, like you know what to expect. And it's hard, orientation can never fully prepare you because camp is so crazy and so wild and so no, like nothing like you'll ever have done before. But it, they do their best to try and prepare you and give you some advice, give you some training and just help you know what's gonna happen when the kids get there. Okay, next question is what do people wear during orientation? This is a really good question actually because we don't get given our staff shirts until just before the kids are getting there. So during orientation, we'll just be wearing like chill, active wear, gym clothes. Like you're doing a lot of sometimes running around like activities or sometimes just sitting around like listening to training talks. So you just wanna be comfy really. So always wear like leggings or shorts t-shirts, jumpers, hoodies, depending if it's cold or not, but that kind of vibe, very chill. Okay, someone's asked what, what kind of team building fun activities do you do? And like, obviously I've mentioned some anyway, and a lot of it is kind of like, we have like tight and bright parties. We had, obviously we went out bowling, we do like dodgeball, different sports like that. We did like basketball for some events, like baseball, all that different stuff. And I'll, I still really can't explain orientation. I wanna get a lot more vlog footage of orientation next year. Like my plan is to try and vlog as much of it as I can, because I wanna look back on those memories as well, because it is one of my favorite weeks and try and put an orientation vlog together because that would be amazing. So that's my plan because I feel like I still can't explain orientation very well. Okay, someone's asked when you get split into groups, how many are in each group? And this will completely vary because some things you do as full camp, like full camp activities like the big training you'll do all together or sometimes you'll be split into small groups of like 10 or 20 people. It really depends on the activity and also depends on your camp. Like if your camp only operates at like 75 staff, you might do everything together or everything in really small groups. So it's really hard to say, but you definitely do a mixture of group sizes especially at Tyler Hill we kind of go from having like really small groups especially when you're in your division you can kind of like split up into smaller groups you just have that time with your division anyway but it can be a bit of anything honestly okay next someone's asked do you get to do the same activities that the kids would do and like I've mentioned already this is camp for the council's orientation is literally how I explain it and not all areas and activities will be set up during orientation like gymnastics for example is set up towards the end of orientation so that isn't normally open for counsellors to use things like arts and crafts the pool like i think rock wall was open there's definitely more of like the elective things that you can do and even when the kids get there you can still join in and do the activities with them that's what especially at my camp we want staff to do we want staff to get involved and want to go on the rock wall or go on the water skis with the kids like get involved and do those fun things okay someone's asked what's the very first day like and like i said obviously i've gone through the whole schedule anyway but the first day is normally quite full on and like throws you in and gets you started because you do want to get straight in and they don't want to obviously leave people like with nothing to do like to sit around and just think about either how much they're missing home or how they're not 100% sure this is what they want to do so you just kind of get thrown in and it is such a good way to do it I think and lots of activities keep you busy and have a lot of fun okay next question is how easy is it to get to know people and I've always found it really easy to get chatting to anyone and the activities and things that they organize for us to do during orientation really help you to get to know people I remember um, one of the activities we did actually was with like we all had to partner up and I ended up going with Connor who I'm going to insert a picture of me and Connor I literally had never spoken to Connor and he ended up being like the Ninja Warrior specialist. So we worked together all summer long. So like gymnastics and the Ninja Warrior set up was like right next to each other. So we worked together all summer and I was like, oh, let, let's be partners. And we sat and we had to sit like cross-legged, but like we had to be like touching somehow. So you had to like touch knees or touch hands or like anything, like some part of you had to be touching. You had to sit like really close and we had to talk through like a load of different topics and sit like really close to each other and look into each other's eyes. Like you couldn't, what was really good, they, this activity, you couldn't respond back. Like you had to just listen. And I find this really hard because I, constantly trying to like talk in with a conversation I'm like oh yeah like I always say something so like sitting there and just having to like stare into someone's eyes and listen to what they were saying was so interesting to do because I'd never done anything like that before and we got really deep like we knew so much about each other by the end of this talk and it's probably only like 20 minutes long and like that's the thing I got to know him so well so quickly because of these kind of activities and then he was literally one of my best friends for the whole summer like I literally love him so much so yeah, it's very easy to get to know people like I said the activities are meant for that exact reason okay next question is do you get to meet everyone now obviously this will depend on the size of your camp like how many staff you have we have like 250 staff at camp and whereas you will probably cross paths with everyone you'll get to say hello to everyone it's really hard to have really in-depth conversations with every single person and you probably won't like you won't 
fully cross paths with every single person because you could be working in an upper camp and do something completely different to someone working in lower camp and sometimes you're just like wow there's so many people here that you don't talk to everyone but you definitely get to talk to a good majority you get to know a lot of people like most of the people sometimes you'll just have different nights off like your time off won't like clash with someone else's so in the main you get to know near enough most people i know think i know virtually everyone at camp i won't have had a really in-depth conversation with everyone because there's just so many of us there but it's such a welcoming nice community that i know that i could go and talk to anyone i could go and have an in-depth conversation with anyone but sometimes you just don't you don't have the time to sometimes and you just could be in a completely different area completely different division and not kind of have the chance to okay last question i'm going to talk about is is orientation spent only with people in your department kind of like just general counselors or just specialists and the answer is no like you very rarely kind of just stick with your specialist area or your your division unless you're doing specific training for that they want you to mix and they want you to speak to as many people as possible so every specialist area will kind of have their little time like we have time at gymnastics where we go through training and stuff and obviously your divisional time like i spoke about in in the schedule so there are times where you will just be with your division or your specialty area but most of orientation or probably 90 percent of orientation is spent mixing like mixing with everyone else because like i say they want you to get to know everyone they want you to meet friends even if there's someone that's not going to be in your division or not going to be in your area because they want you to meet as many people as possible but yeah right that is all the questions we're going to touch upon if you have any other questions orientation related please leave them down below i could always kind of make like a part two to this video maybe if there's enough questions for me to talk about but yeah i hope that's been interesting i think this is going to be a pretty long video more videos have been relatively short recently I feel like I've definitely got better at not rambling. This one I think is going to be lengthy though, which I'm quite happy about because I haven't done a lengthy video in a while. So yeah, I hope that's given you a bit of an idea on orientation. Like I say, this is obviously just based on orientation at my camp. I can't really speak on how orientation is going to be at any other camps because things can be completely different. Things can be exactly the same. I have no idea. But yeah, it might just be quite interesting for you guys to hear how it is at my camp, the kind of stuff that we get up to and all of that. I will have inserted some pictures as I go along so you can kind of see as well. My aim is literally to get so much footage next year. That is the aim for orientation. Literally vlog the whole thing because that'd be so fun. But yeah, thank you for watching guys. Please leave any questions down below, even if they're not orientation related. Anything at all or shoot me a message in my DMs on Instagram. I always try and get back to as many of you as possible. I've had so many messages, so please bear with me. If I haven't got back to you in a while and it's like a question that you're like desperate to know the answer to, please just drop me another message. I may have just missed it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.